Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's model this part in AutoCAD 3D. But before this, let's understand some basics for AutoCAD 3D. So the first thing is the drawing template. So you have different type of templates here. This is for 2D and this is for 3D when you have English unit. And when you have metric unit, you go for AKID ISO 3D. So I have metric unit, so I'll go with this. And here you should always check your workspace. You should always have 3D modeling workspace. Then the next thing is you should always have parallel view for better snapping. Check your O snap setting. You should have object snap and 3D object snap selected. Now let's open the drawing. So this is the drawing. And to model this part, we will use these commands. These commands include 2D and 3D commands. Now to start the part in AutoCAD 3D, you must understand the concept of sketching plane in AutoCAD 3D. And to understand this, you must observe your grids, which is your sketching plane. So our sketching plane is always XY plane. And now this sketching plane is onto the top plane. So whenever we try to draw something on top plane, we should have this orientation. Now if you want to draw something on your right plane, then you must change your sketching plane from top to right. Now see, this is your right plane and your XY plane is laying on your right plane. Similarly, if you want to draw something on your front plane, then you must change your sketching plane to front. Now you see, this is your front plane and your XY plane is onto the front plane. And to go back to your default orientation, just select UCS world and it will come back to your default orientation. So this was the concept of sketching plane in AutoCAD 3D. Now let's start the part. So in AutoCAD 3D, you can build a part with a different approach. You can create all the features in the same location to build a part or you can create all the features separately in different locations and you can bring it together to build a part. So I'll be using both the methods simultaneously and you will understand this easily in coming session. So let's get started. So now you understand the concept of sketching plane and I'll be creating this base feature first. And for that I need right sketching plane and these are the dimensions to build this feature. So let's change the sketching plane. And to change the sketching plane, click here and select right. So now my sketching plane is right sketching plane. Now let's start the sketch. So I'll start with circle. I'll draw a circle with radius 18. Now this circle, I'll copy this side, press F8, this size by 84. Now I'll draw one line from this center till this center. One more line from this mid down 60 and this side it is 33. Now I'll draw one circle with radius 18 and I'll mirror this circle this side. Next thing is I'll draw one line with tangent value. I'll go with tangent this circle. Again I'll go with tangent to this circle. I will mirror this line with this center line. One more time I will draw one line from this quadrant to this quadrant and this quadrant to this quadrant. I will delete these lines and I will trim tier double enter and I will select this circle. Now first I will go with all add material features and then I will go for remove material feature. So add material using press pull, select the region and this side it is 12. Now the next feature is this neck and this rib and these are the dimensions to build this feature and for this I need a front sketching plane so I will change to front sketching plane, I will go here and I will select front. Now switch up the grid. Press F6, 
Now let's draw the sketch. I'll go with line from here, this side 36, above 42 after calculation, this side again 12 and down 42 plus 12, 54 and this side 36 plus 12, 48 and close the sketch. Now draw the rib, I'll start with line. I'll go down there 84 after calculation 138 minus 54. Next line is from here this side 36 after calculation 48 minus 12 and down here radius which is 24 and close the sketch. Now use press pull. This side it is 24. And again this side it is 24, then this one, this side it is 6 and again this side 6. Now move it, select this and this, from this point to the mid somewhere here. And to rotate, press and hold shift key and use middle mouse button. Now the next feature is this cylinder and these are the dimensions to build this feature. And for that I need right sketching plane. So I will select right. Now draw one line from this midpoint, this side 12 and then go for circle, big circle with dia 48. Now go for press pull, select this and this side it is 60, 48 plus 12. So I have created all my add material features. Now let's unite it, UNI, enter, select all the features, just like this, say enter, now it is a single feature. Now I will go with fillets, this back fillet, this is radius 6. Then this one, this one will be radius 18, again this, this is radius 18, then one more fillet I have which is this radius 6. and this side radius 6. So my add material features are done. Now I will go for remove material feature. I will delete this. Now let's draw the circle. Select this curve, select the center point dia 14. Now copy this circle from here to this center point and same way this side and on the top somewhere here. Now using press pull I will remove the material. Select this negative direction, select this negative direction. Similarly all these four. Delete these sketches. Now once again I will go for circle. This face. And this is dia 24. Press pull. Select this negative direction. Delete the sketch. Once again circle. Same center point. Dia 48. Draw the line from this quadrant to this quadrant, use press pull, select this face, negative direction, 12, delete the sketch.
change it to said with this and your part is done